Alright guys, well, it would be an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm on this. It should be a glorious Saturday afternoon, July 27th, 2024, but it's a little bit smoky little bit smoky, which I'm sure will be a lot worse tomorrow uh, here in the end times. But uh, we have a full house. And while I'm sitting up here in the little eagle's nest watching my approaching guests, just want to uh, read the single... Th th this is one of the most well-written uh essays I have ever read on medium.com uh, by this. I honestly don't know if D.K. Blair is male or female. E even when looking at the, fem at the photo, I'm not sure. But whoever D.K. is, he or she or they are a free thinker, free wheeler, never back downer, author of Chattel Rising, The Schizo, etc. And he or she writes about economics and climate change normally, but this time uh, DK is, uh, I guess, steering off uh, his or her normal conversation to talk about narcissism. And this is the problem, even though it's the most well-written subject, uh, most well-written essay I might have ever read about the subject of, quote, narcissism, I still have a huge problem with the N-word, with narcissism. So before I dive into this uh, unbelievably great uh, essay, echoing uh, what I have been trying to say on many rants recently about just dealing with assholes in the doomosphere. Um, I just want to say I think this whole term narcissism has gotten completely overused. It's just become an overused, trite cliché that you throw at anybody whose opinions don't match yours. If you meet someone who holds strongly held opinions that do not match perfectly with your strong opinions, then that person, I guess, is a narcissist. But what is the clinical definition of narcissist? This is the AI overview of what the real definition of a narcissist is, is according to the American Psychiatric Association, narcissistic personality disorder is a mental health condition characterized by a persistent pattern of behavior that includes, number one, grandiosity, an inflated sense of one's self-importance, superiority, or fantasy. Number two, a need for admiration, a constant desire for attention and approval from others. Number three, lack of empathy, difficulty understanding or relating to others' feelings. And, uh, uh, of course, we all know who that is a definition of. It is a definition of Donald Trump, the poster child of, uh, of narcissism. So, if you're Donald Trump, you're a fucking narcissist, okay? Otherwise, you're just a regular person like me, just your garden variety asshole. So, uh, I would just change narcissism in this essay I'm getting ready to read. 
to to asshole, and, and, and I'm not even sure that's correct. Goes, what's weird about this essay uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to read called Narcissism Gone Viral? What it does is gets right to the core of what I've had several videos about recently, just, just about how basically friends of yours or people who you thought were your friends, and then you start to figure out that for whatever reason, they are no longer your friend. Uh, so, so I'm going through the list of people that I have met here in the Doomosphere since going down this rabbit hole, going down this ever-growing, this long and growing list of, uh, uh, of these people that I once considered friends of mine, e even close friends of mine, even those that I have, uh, you know, jumped the shark from social media into real life, uh, the growing number of, uh, of people, and I'm particularly talking about people that I've met in the Doomosphere, because virtually everyone I've met since 2008, I have met through, you know, my narcissistic uh, YouTube channels. And the thing about it is, I'm going down this list and not one of the people on this list, not one of them, male, female, boomer, uh, it, 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 any age group, uh, male, female, whatever, uh, I cannot think of one of them, well, maybe one exception uh, with a person who I never did jump the shark with, uh, other than one person, and you might know who that is, that I never did uh, jump the shark into real life, not one of these people uh, who has, you know, ghosted me, most likely, you know, ghosted me, backstabbed me, double-crossed me, trash-talked me uh, privately to my face, uh, uh, behind my back to my friends in public forums, going down the, the, this growing list uh, uh, of, of people who have basically dumped me uh, with or without explaining why, usually without, without explaining why, not one of them as I say, with the possible exception of one person, would I consider a narcissist? Uh, so the narcissism angle, I think D.K. Blair is falling into this trap of just labeling people, uh, just normal people as narcissists. But even with that caveat, uh, I want to share what DK has to say. I, I, I won't read the essay. I'll put the link to those of you uh, who can get medium. Take it away. DK Blair, Narcissism Gone Viral, Psycho, I'm sorry, Pathological Self-Centeredness is Making Us All Horrible People and the Consequences have been dire. Okay, DK, what's going on in your mind today? <clears throat> as strange and peculiar as it may sound to admit, I don't think <coughs> there is one single person on this earth that I like 100% anymore, or even a decent 60%. <clears throat> When I was younger, I wish I knew how old DK was. When I was younger, a lot less cynical, a shade less jaded, and way more naive, I had many different acquaintances and took the notion that they were decent people for granted. I certainly 
never felt that each and every one of them were self-serving narcissists who would not give you the steam off their piss, let alone gasp, help you with the slightest of issues, or even offer an empathetic ear. And before I get attacked and lambasted in the comments, no, I am not entitled, that, that is another word that even I am guilty of throwing around this word entitled, and I don't expect things from anyone that I don't openly offer in return. I am a solid ride or die friend and have many homies backs no matter what. I never judge anyone for what they're going through or who they are, and it really doesn't take much to keep me as a lifelong friend. I am loyal to a fault, but the system we're all currently trying to navigate has bred narcissists and rendered kindness, sympathy, and care vulnerabilities too dangerous to demonstrate. Maybe it's just me, and maybe I'm the crazy one, but I really believe the standards of interpersonal relationships across the board has dropped significantly in the past 10 to 15 years. Everyone seems vastly more intolerant and unwavering in their own ide ideology. Everyone is on the take or on the make, and you really cannot trust anyone anymore. And uh, which I have uh, had videos, uh, you can't trust anybody. You cannot trust anybody, says the person who has given someone all of the access to every one of my bank accounts, who could clean me out and ruin me. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll have to make one exception on the planet to, uh, you really cannot trust anyone anymore. And the only thing I would add it, 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 it is why is DK Blair limiting this to narcissists? Uh, I, I, I don't trust anyone anymore. Uh, n n not just to, uh, you know, wake up one day and, and I make some off color joke or whatever, and then they're just going to fucking ghost me, disappear out of my life forever. And I do want to add one caveat that there is one person probably listening to this that I do consider a narcissist uh, that meets the clinical definition, and this person has never, has never ghosted me, uh, stabbed me in the back, dumped me, whatever, although I expect the day will come. <clears throat> All right, back to DK. I like that DK. I'm just now getting DK. All right. From a societal level right on down to the individual, we seem to have devolved into a time of uncivilized barbarity, disregarding the common courtesies of the past and embracing a brutish winner-take-all mentality in each one of our interpersonal interactions. Don't believe me? Let's look at the evidence. And DK starts off with friendships. There is a reason why Gen Z is said to be the loneliest generation in history, and I assert that the cause behind this phenomenon transcends merely the absorption in and obsession with social media technologies. While it is certainly true to an extent that the internet has atomized us and rendered face-to-face -face contact rarer and more infrequent, I also believe that the development of so-called P 
parasocial relationships has become an absolute necessity for cohorts from each generation as the standards of regular friendships has fallen off a cliff. As malignant narcissism and narcissistic tendencies rose across every facet of society, the expectations of friendships themselves decreased, and especially for the coming-of-age generations, the bond of friendship appears to mean much less and carry a lot less weight than it did in previous epochs. So again, except for that part about the narcissist, I, I, I don't know why DK is, is, is picking on that one personality trait. The sentence would have read just fine without uh, that. I'm not just imagining this either. There are many experts who believe generations are becoming increasingly narcissistic, and according to one study by the Newport Institute, quote, Research shows that today's young adults are more narcissistic than ever before. More than 10% of people in their 20s are believed to suffer from subclinical narcissism, according to Psychology Today, and it appears that social media may be one cause of narcissism. There is a reason that selfie sticks have been dubbed narcissistics. And, and, and again, I don't own a selfie stick, and uh, as you may have noticed, I very rarely even uh, show myself in videos anymore. I, I, I do not think that owning a selfie stick makes you a narcissist. But maybe that's because I'm a narcissist who does not own a selfie stick. Anyway, back to DK. Actions and attitudes that would be deal breakers in earlier times have become commonplace behavior now, such as ghosting, ghosting, leading the list, tardiness, standing people up, and gaslighting. Gaslighting, uh, we all know gaslighters now. Uh, gaslighting certainly is one of the major uh, indicators of true narcissism. Uh, tardiness in standing people up it is just being a rude fucking asshole. Uh, I have been dealing with uh, with tardy people and standing. You know, my whole life. Uh, now, ghosting, I, I, I think, uh, I'm, I'm glad that DK put this uh, up at the top of the list, that ghosting that I think social media, ha especially with people that you've never met in, in real life, that the, the, the whole, uh, just this whole new way of relating or not relating to people, just... You know, just erasing somebody out of your life with no explanation of why you have blown them off. And this is, I don't know whether it, it, it's the, that virtually everyone who has ghosted me has either been a doomer that I have met since I started my social media, that I've met through social media, or you know, women I've met on Pile of Fish, and I, especially with that second group, I will say guilty as charged that I have ghosted more than my share uh, of clueless nasty bitches uh, who aren't worth uh, my time to even tell them to go fuck themselves. So, but th th this whole notion of ghosting, I don't know whether it has to do that it's something common to doomers, I'm thinking it's more likely 
the reason that I have been ghosted by so many people over the last few years is that ghosting uh, just is the new chicken shit cop out cowardly way of, of uh, breaking off friendships that did not exist before uh, 20, uh, you know, 2010 or 2012. So I don't think it, it, it's related just to doomers that if I had gotten in some other sort of social group would probably be, be every bit as bad and possibly even worse. Uh, <clears throat> that's just a, a guess. Back to DK. With the focus consistently on the self, appearances, and being better than others, the emphasis, you know, he or she is talking about friendships now, the emphasis is now on individual aggrandizement rather than collective shared experiences, much to the detriment of genuine friendships and bonds. As harrowing as it is for young folks, for those in their 30s and 40s, the situation is practically hopeless. With a focus on survival, having to move at a moment's notice, living a life of precarity and barely holding on by a thread means that for most of us, friendships now come last on the list of priorities. The end result of all of this is that we, we, meaning pretty much anyone, have become a society of isolated, atomized, individually focused malcontents with less respect, appreciation and consideration for friends and acquaintances. And then uh, in this next section, which is very good, and, and I would read it, is just for time, uh, DK uh, talks about uh, at work dealing with uh, dealing with asshole, narcissistic, uh, co-workers and bosses. So I'm going to skip over that, but we're going to go now uh, from friendships to relationships uh, as more and more and more people find their significant other uh, online or more likely don't find their significant other online. All right. The quality of the love relationships, the love relationships themselves seem to have suffered some major sat setbacks in recent years. Narcissism as a pathology is all about what appears nice and shiny on the surface rather than what truly lies underneath and due to the increasing prevalence of dating apps, both men and women have been foregoing developing themselves and instead focus on the outward hallmarks of success and beauty. Nobody really takes the time to properly get to know anybody anymore either because as soon as your, well in my case, as soon as your pile of fish date says something that you disagree with, you can just swipe on and find someone else. And uh, so as I say, uh, I will admit to swiping on and ghosting uh, a few women that I have met on Pile of Fish uh, over the last seven or eight years 
but uh, I, 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 I'm thinking of the women. I, as far as I know, I, I have never ghosted a woman because I thought she was a narcissist. Every woman I have ever ghosted on Pile of Fish, I ghosted because after getting to know her, I, I determined that she is a nasty, clueless, normie bitch from hell that I want nothing to fucking do with uh, in, in, in my life, so I ghost the fucking bitch. It has nothing to do with them being a narcissist. I don't know whether the women who have ghosted me have done so because they think I'm a narcissist. I think they've done so when they figured out that I uh, that that I live uh, you, you know in a ten by twelve foot tiny house if I'm lucky and don't have any money. Okay, but anyway, getting back to D to DK, uh, much like everything else in this neoliberal capitalist society, relationships of all kinds have become fleeting, transactional, and cheap. Romance, depth, and bond development have fallen by the wayside, being replaced by one-night stands, situationships, and skyrocketing levels of loneliness and dissatisfaction with dating. Meanwhile, harassment, stalking, gaslighting, and do not forget ghosting are all on the rise and the prevalence of both sexes decrying the perils of modern dating of the modern dating world and swearing off dating forever is ubiquitous for most people the process of dating you know or looking for your significant other has simply become too exhausting tedious and time consuming as explained by Cosmo in May of 2024, quote, encouraged by TikTok, single people are taking vows of celibacy, young women are going boy sober and pausing their dating lives, and many are choosing to decenter men by embracing South Korea's 4B movement which renounces dating and sex with men, marriage, and having children, close quote. Well, there is a, a silver lining in this cloud. The consequence of the lousy dating scene is that young people are having less sex than ever, while older people can you say boomers, are giving up on finding a life partner, period. Older people are giving up on finding a life partner, period. And this uh, essay is not uh, devoted just to doomers. But uh, all right, let me just finish this out. So from relationships to society in general. <clears throat> if it is true that you can judge a society <clears throat> on how they treat their poorest and most vulnerable, then the Western nations are no longer civilized societies, but rogue, brutish, barbarian states retrograding back into a time of pervasive savagery, heaping blame upon the victims of a broken system while bailing out billionaires, we have lost all perspective on what common decency means. Criminalizing poverty, 
fining and imprisoning homeless people who have nowhere else to go, and berating immigrants and refugees is now a matter of state policy in the majority of nations around the world. In the political realm, candidates and voters alike no longer argue policy, but merely shout obscenities at one another and call each other childish names. Trump, a character clearly suffering from malignant narcissism, narcissism really lowered the bar on the language and rhetoric expected in the political arena. Living in online confirmation bias bubbles, can you say the doomosphere, has isolated us from one another and made us more intolerant of other people's opinions, beliefs, and values. In our socio-political lives, therefore, we have become more bigoted, xenophobic, classist, racist, sexist, and misogynistic and cutthroat in our criticisms. And wrapping it up, from my own experience, research and observations, as well as the anecdotes and tales of others, I genuinely believe that we have become more narcissistic both on a societal and individual level and that it is tearing us apart in every facet of our lives. In spite of a few exceptional cases, I have yet to see or witness much evidence to the contrary. Thank you for reading this little tirade. And uh, again, I, that was a excellent tirade. I just wish DK uh, ha had not picked on narcissist uh, as it, it's. It's not even the narcissists like Donald Trump we need to worry about. It's it's the you know it's just the the regular folks, the non-narcissists uh, that vote for Donald Trump. Uh, I I find to be a more troubling uh, development in society than uh, fucking asshole narcissists like Donald Trump. But anyway, uh, I got to wrap this up and get ready for my influx of vacation visitors. Bye, guys.